Being an entrepreneur is very exciting but high risk. And sometimes you have to work really long time and not get paid well for years. That's why lots of entrepreneurs want to become a product manager at the stepping stone. However, their experience are frequently not valued by those stable big tech companies and they either do not land an offer at all or they get a low ball offer. In this video, I will break down the four steps that help you become a product manager with an entrepreneurial background. Make sure to stay until the end where I share with you the hardest question you'll be asked as an entrepreneur during the product management job hunting journey. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and feature in Forbes. I've helped thousands of people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startups and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe, check out a new video every Tuesday. Step number one of becoming a product manager as an entrepreneur is the yes mindset. Yes, you can, for sure. And yes, people will pay you top salary based on a past entrepreneurial experience. For example, my son David Lin with eight years entrepreneurial experience and became a product manager at Meta. And now he's also working on very cool AI product for Meta. And recently also helped another startup CEO to pass his interview at OpenAI. And those are all exciting opportunities out there and then they love those entrepreneurial backgrounds. Now let me tell you behind the scenes how people make decisions. Those are all exciting opportunities that everybody wants and those companies really love entrepreneurial background and you can make it happen as well, get those hot offers and get paid significant more. But now let me break it down behind the scenes how and why companies love entrepreneurs. Number one, entrepreneurial experience and product management have 70% overlap. Because as an entrepreneur, you frequently trying to find out product market fit, you want to talk to customers, understand needs and desired pain point, and you lead engineering team and try to build a product. It is the same roles and responsibilities as a product manager, which is also a CEO of product. But what is the 30%? The 30% is that entrepreneurs frequently you need to spend lots of time doing fundraising, managing your team, hiring team members. So those are not necessarily the core responsibilities for product managers, but the key responsibilities are the same. So therefore, 100% chance product managers, if you use the right methodology, you can definitely become a product manager. Now second, entrepreneurs also need to understand what type of companies appreciate your specific background. For example, those Tier one large tech companies, they all love entrepreneurial background and because they believe that entrepreneurs, if they can start their own company and drive customers adoption, find product market fit, they can use the same kind of talent and drive and personality to create even better product for those bigger companies. For example, Meta is known for hiring entrepreneurs as their senior product manager and Google and OpenAI all love entrepreneurs and those are great companies for you to look into. Besides those fan companies, of course, some companies have concern hiring entrepreneurs. I'm gonna cover in step four towards the end of this video. Let's continue. Step number two to become a product manager as an entrepreneur is repackage your stories and have a systematic study of product management knowledge. As I said earlier, entrepreneurs definitely can become product manager. However, if you don't tell your story very well, nobody will make you an offer or even make you a low ball offer and getting paid very little. For example, our student Howard, he was an entrepreneur for two years and he never worked for anybody else right out of college, but he had a successful startup, but the startup didn't raise enough funding and eventually went out of business. So therefore, he just wanted to join any company as an associate product manager because he thought he has no product management experience but he landed zero interview as a social product manager. However, after we repackaged his resume, repackaged his experience, and he was able to land a senior product manager position in some startups. And, and now he's in the process trying to jump over to tier one fan companies. So what made the difference in his transition is that in the past, when he went out into any job interviews or packaged experience on his resume, he only talks about the things he did as an entrepreneur, such as raising funding, um, building MVP, and leading a team. Those are definitely leadership skills. However, as a product manager, we want to see something very specific, such as create go-to-market strategy write product requirement documentation. And on top of that, during the interviews, are also going to test out, do you know the systematic way to create a product? Because as an entrepreneur, you might use very agile methodology with very limited funding. You might cut off some of the right process to create a product. Now, let me give you a quiz to test out if you know systematic product management knowledge or not. Answer this question. What are the five types of product requirements you need to write in your product requirement documentation? 
If you don't know this foundation fight has product management requirement, I'm sorry. They can tell you are not well trained as a product manager. Now, here is the answer to this question. There are functional requirement, performance requirement, usability requirement, supportability requirement, and reliability requirement. You must know they can easily tell you're not well trained product manager. So therefore, I recommend everybody go to this free playlist where I give you product management one-on-one -on -one training and brush up your skills right away. I'm also going to link the playlist in the description of this video. The fastest way for you to master the product management knowledge through systematic training is attending product management bootcamp. You can check out our PM Accelerator certified product management bootcamp in the description of this video as well. Number three is to create a product portfolio. This is the best way and the easiest and the fastest way for you to demonstrate your transferable skills as a product manager and make them pay you top dollar. Now, let me quickly introduce what is a product portfolio. It is a simple description of your past product and follow the end to -end product management lifecycle step to show others that you have done each of the steps of product management. So it's the easiest way to tell them that, hey, even if I was an entrepreneur, I was CEO of ABCD company, I was CTO of ABCD startup, actually I have done everything that presented inside of this product management portfolio. And that's the same as what the big tech companies is launching their own successful product. So what to include in your product portfolio? Very simple, which is, for example, if you have interview customers, you can describe your customer interview outcome. If you have written requirement, you give them examples of requirement. If you had long-term, short-term roadmap, and show them your roadmap as well on your product portfolio. Another advantage of a product portfolio is actually create an experience to hide your career gap. For example, one of my student, Diana, she had two year career gap when she had her first baby, but at the same time, she's also trying to work on a startup. But we're able to create a product portfolio to really highlight the skills she has gained during the startup period and minimize the fact that she actually took two years break from her career while taking care of a newborn baby. That's why right now, Diana is working for a senior product manager of a pre-IPO startup. There are 13 different types of projects you can work on to create your own product portfolio. You can go to this website to download the checklist of the certain project. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. When you start working on those projects, the next step is using the top five free product portfolio tools to create your own product portfolio. And I have end-to-end -end training how to use those tools right here in this video. I know lots of you guys, tens of thousands of my audience watching the free training already landed many product management job offers. If this is you, please comment on this channel and tell me that you have landed an offer and I love to celebrate with all of you guys. Step number four of becoming a product manager as an entrepreneur is to know the best framework and strategy to nail those product management interview questions. Now let's talk about the sad truths. There's a difference between you know how to launch a successful, amazing product and you know how to interview and show off your achievement. Recently, a very successful star CEO and he was also a chief product officer of a public trading company reached out to me and asked me to help him get into OpenAI. He said the same thing. He said, hey, Nancy, I know I know how to build a product, but the different skill set for me to present myself and really land those high paying job offers, especially join this amazing company of OpenAI. Therefore, I recommend everybody to fully prepare for your upcoming job interviews as a product manager. And as an overview, they're going to ask you many challenging questions such as product sense, product design, product metrics, product strategy, and behavioral interview question. And I have a separate playlist and a sample answers of each of those interview questions with step-by-step -step guidance and framework how to answer those questions. You can check out all the playlists right here. Actually, as an entrepreneur, the hardest question for you to prepare is product strategy, which is also something they really expect you to master. Because as the CEO of your own company, if you don't know how to talk about long-term product strategy, they're going to fail you in the interview because the expectation of a CEO of a startup is much higher compared with someone who's just fresh out of school. On top of that, they're also going to ask this most challenging question, why you don't want to be an entrepreneur anymore? Are you going to be fully focused on this new job within my company or not? And why do you want to join my company? Make sure you must have a very convincing answer to these fundamental questions or they are not going to hire you because they don't think you have the royalty to work for those new companies. When you answer those challenging questions, the most important step is to use the right framework, especially all those questions that sounds quite similar. If you use the wrong framework, you're going to definitely fail in those interviews. I have invented my own framework to help you to break down all those most challenging interview questions and I made them for free on my YouTube channel. And in my next video, I'm going to tell you how to answer the most challenging interview question, which is a strategy question using the Gucci framework 
I have invented. You're going to check out this video right here. And make sure to go to the description of this video and download the 13 different projects you can work on to create a product portfolio. This is Darkman CD from PMXeditor.io. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video right here.